he's like one of the smartest guys I've ever met in our industry. So I hope you all get a lot out of this. Welcome and take it away, Saul. In Europe, uh, we kicked off something around three years ago called Open Coffee Club in London, um, which was really inspired by what you guys were doing here in, in New York. And um, well, Scott was very generous about what he said about me. I have to credit Scott uh, for actually giving me my faith back uh, on the web when he started Meetup in around, what, sort of 2003. And, you know, uh, probably a lot of you will remember that sort of the 2001 to 2004 period was very, very uh, lean and, and barren on the web. And when I saw Meetup launched, you know, I thought, wow, this is like something that could only exist with the web. And, uh, you know, it's amazing to see what, what Meetup has become and, and the groups that it's, it's, it's formed. So Seed Camp is basically, if people are familiar with uh, Y Combinator, we were somewhat inspired by the Y Combinator model. Uh, we have a, a slightly different issue in Europe in that, uh, you know, uh, the US has 50 states, we have 50 countries, um, each of which has a different language, many of which have different currencies, all of which have different cultures. We have, you know, great technical talents. And if you think it's hard to start up a company in the US, in the Valley, uh, less so in New York, less so now, um, but in Europe it's really, really tough. Our based uh, classification search engine. Uh, what we do is that we guide tagging process the content. Uh, this is a previous was uh, for our classified sites, what we're currently concentrating on. So what we do is we, we uh, analyze the content that goes into our system uh, and we guide the tagging process. All out of text that he's put in here, the system has then analyzed that text and come up with some very relevant tags. Poland, but we are now uh, located in London. But the story of Codivity uh, begins uh, in uh, Beijing. Uh, I'm a software engineer, is a small startup that suddenly had to uh, employ many software engineers. So what you normally do in such a situation, you put up a net, and what happens is that crowd shows up uh, in your office, and now you have to sort out uh, with whom you want to work. And follow my recommendation, you really plan the trip the way you want, it's your holiday. Real time, you get new recommendation, North Granada after Cordoba. So you pick your itinerary, then you start thinking about hotel, restaurant, uh, things to see, to do. So we'll make some recommendation, you can follow them, or you can just search for something. A friend tells you about a great place, don't put it in an Excel spreadsheet or calendar, you add it on Kukunu. So I'm from Praga, and this is uh, Philippe, also, uh, CEO of Praga. And so uh, we're working on a solution to deal with uh, email overload. And the idea is that uh, you have a view of your email, your existing email client, you have uh, an additional view that enables you to see uh, what matters most in those emails. So what, what kinds of things you might start to look at first if you come back after vacation, for example, and you have 100 new, new emails. So, so the three things there. that we're trying to do through patients that are best are, one, secure communication with your clinician. Two, able to upload your test results via mobile phone or email. Three, you have complete and total access to your medical record. The basic idea is that we put in events in front of um, um, travelers, and this is how we want to make them actually to tip over and, uh, and then book it and, and travel there. We are in the area of gaming, especially Facebook gaming. As you know, it's a very uh, strong and growing market at the moment. And um, there are just a couple of really successful developers at the moment on Facebook, but uh, we think there is a lot more potential uh, in Facebook gaming, and a lot more developers who want to go onto Facebook. So it's like from the indie game developers, just a couple of guys, up to big companies who are having the IPs, like Cartoon Network and Disney, who haven't really got uh, their uh, games on Facebook yet. When you've uploaded your data in monographs, and in this example, we're using uh, sales data from a, uh, yeah. a, a computer store. And um, 
if you would like, let's, let's go into a new graph. So say you'd like to know what your total sales are for the period that covers this data. You just drag and drop a formula onto your measurement zone. You drag the sales variable and automatically you get this, this simple graph. Here. So just, just a final word to say thanks to Scott and, and Dawn for hosting uh, this evening and all of you guys for, for showing up. This is uh, the first time Seed Camps been in New York. Uh, all of these guys are going out to the Valley tomorrow afternoon. Um, and we did the Valley last year, but you know what's become really apparent is that you know New York is an unbelievable you know startup community. Um, I think uh, my my old friend John Borthwick was telling me today that uh, of Ron Conway's thirty odd investments uh, last year, sixty percent were on the on the East Coast, which is pretty phenomenal given that those guys wouldn't invest outside of the valley 12 months ago. So there's something pretty amazing happening in New York and it's really great for us to be here. And you know, this, this meetup has been central to, to what's gone on here. So it's a real pleasure for us to be here and we're gonna hopefully come back again next year. And uh, thanks very much for being here. Hello, Hermione. Hello, hello, Tech Club. How are you all doing? So, we're here in New York, and we've got well, Meetup have organised for us a New York Tech Meetup in their offices. Uh, it's very cool. We'll have a look around. Um, oh, closer. Um, and so we've had 70 members of the New York Tech community come here for a special meetup, and they've been hearing uh, some of Europe's finest web tech companies, some of the ones Seacamp has invested in, present. They've been giving little demos, showing them what they're all about, and getting some pretty grilling questions. Okay, so let's ask some people what they thought. Hold on a second. Hey guys, how did you find the New York Tech Meetup? Awesome. awesome. Yeah, very exciting. So, great turnout. Uh, really personally, people came along to see uh, all the European startups. It was great to see that Europe is doing very much uh, the kind of things that we're doing. It's, um, you know, it seems like also a very vibrant community that you guys are, you know, have people who want to start new things and use technology in new and innovative ways. And, um, yeah, it's all good. It's great to see our European um, comrades oh, doing well, similar stuff. In New York, how would you compare the New York tech scene to that in London and, of course, Paris? I mean, for us, it's, we've been actually here a week, so we came a few days earlier than the rest, I think, of the seed camp uh, uh, winners. I mean, we've just been seeing five or six different uh, companies every day, and it's, it's very, very vibrant. Um, in attitudes and the differences in styles of tech startups here in New York compared to London. Well, you know, I'm, I'm a New Yorker and people are just really straightforward here and so they just say it like it is and it's not, you know, Europe's catching up to that. So we need to be more like that in Europe. You're straightforward. <laughs> I'm straightforward. What? You don't think so? <laughs> New York Tech Meetup has been fantastic. Tomorrow we're going to head over to Silicon Valley and continue introducing the teams to different people around there before going back to London and starting our European team. This is Alistair Bell reporting for Tech Club TV. Back to you, Hermione.